Okay, I'm going to show you how to download and unzip and uh, basically use the Pizera Audio Extractor. First of all, open your browser. You can see in my browser, whoops, I'm using, here we go, I'm using Chrome. You're going to type in and you're going to go to Pizera. Uh, I gave you the link already. And the page is kind of busy. There's all kinds of free things here. You're going to use this download here. And you can download the zip archive and, and unzip it or you just use the download. I can see here I'm downloading. It's going to take a little bit. It's an executable file. I'm also going to show you what you should do every time you download something. Now I've downloaded. This is the second computer I've used Pizera on, so I know it's safe. But you don't. There we go. Now, you're going to... I'm going to minimize this for a minute. You're going to go... This is Windows 7. Here I am. Go to your download folders and you're going to find it. This is a relatively new machine. There it is, right here. Now before you use it or move it anywhere, right click on it. If you have a virus, antivirus installed, it'll have scan for viruses. You should always do that when you download a program that you're not sure of. Now I have Kaspersky. And it's going through the files. And it says it went through 42 files. There were no threats. You should always, when you download a program, if, you're, if you've never heard of it before, you, even if it's recommended by your best friend, you should always right-click on the download and scan it for viruses. Okay, now I have this here. You can, whoops, I don't want that. You can click on it and drag it onto your desktop if you want to. I already have mine here in my video, excuse me, in my audio folder I put my programs and folders. You're going to double click it to open it and you're going to use this icon to start the program. It's going to ask you, you're going to run it. This, this uh, Pazera is a mobile program. It doesn't install on your computer so you run it every time. Now up here on the black bar at the top, these are what you're going to use, you're going to add a file and I'm going to go to my libraries. I want to add a video file and extract it. I hope it's here. I added one today and it doesn't look like it's here right now. We will just I will just extract this one. Okay, if output file exists, you want to rename the file. You don't want it to have the same name. Now, the other thing, after conversion, do nothing. Output directory is where you want the extracted audio file to go. And I have it put in the same place. Uh, right now, let's change it. And I want to browse, and I want to put it on my desktop. Okay, so if you want to put it, if you want to put it in the same place, just check mark output directory equals input directory. If you want to have the extracted audio put somewhere else that's maybe easier to get to, like your desktop, check the second radio button, go to browse, and then find the place you want it. Important profile. Now this is the file type you want your audio saved in. Go all the way down to the bottom and save it as a WAV file. WAV files are uncompressed. That way if you use it in Movie Maker or in any other program and it gets compressed, it's less likely to distort. So you want it as a WAV file. Now moving down to the lower left, audio settings, same thing. You want that to be a WAV file. Now the rest of the audio settings are auto and you don't have to do anything else. Advanced settings, nothing. Back up to the black bar at the top and you're going to click on convert. And you're going to see how fast this is. Done. Okay. 
So you can close that out. I can close this out. Somewhere on my desktop should be a wave file. And yeah, there it is. Right there. Okay, how do we use that? We're going to leave that right there for now. And I'm going to make another video showing you how to download and set up Audacity, which is a little bit more complicated than Pazera.